Now you've got Sabbatarians, that's what they're called, like Seventh-day Adventists, people that will only worship on the Sabbath because they're holding to that Mosaic covenant that tells us you will keep the Sabbath holy. Well, let's look at church tradition and history. Why is it that we, as uh, the, the almost unified body of Christians, Protestants, and Catholics alike, worship on Sunday? So we need to get back to the root of what God is doing in his word. And in the New Testament, we are never called to worship on the Sabbath. You won't find that in there. In fact, the only references for the Sabbath is when Paul is saying, hey, don't worship on the Sabbath. I'm paraphrasing, but we'll get there. In Romans 14, 5 through 8 says, One person esteems one day as holy above another, another esteems every day alike. Let each be fully convinced in his own mind. He who observes the day observes it to the Lord, and he who does not observe the day uh, to the Lord does not observe it. Now, here's the big point. The Sabbath was not intended for us as New Testament believers uh, to just simply go to church on Sunday and keep that day holy, and then we go live the rest of our lives Monday through Friday at work however we want, doing whatever the culture says, and then we come back to church, okay, this is my holy day, I gotta be holy today. And that's what we see now in the American church is because we're so caught up on Sunday being the new Sabbath, and, it, and it's not. Nowhere in Scripture does it say it's the new Sabbath. Right here it says, on the first day of the week, they came together to break bread. So there's this massive fellowship where they're meeting in a larger place, but then through the rest of the week, they're still also keeping it holy by fellowshipping together and getting into the Word of God. And so we need to understand that in fulfilling the law, Christ broke us free from legalism. He shattered earthly tradition. So there is no other rest besides Jesus because he alone satisfied the requirements of the law, which the Sabbath was a requirement of the law. He alone provides a sacrifice that atones for sin. Colossians 2 verses 14 to 17 says, Having wiped out the handwriting of requirements that was against us, which was contrary to us, and he has taken it out of the way, having nailed it to the cross, having disarmed principalities and powers, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them in it. So let no one judge you in food or in drink, or regarding a festival or a new moon or Sabbaths, which are a shadow of things to come, but the substance is of Christ. As the Mosaic Law was fulfilled in its entirety through Christ, our typical day of worship and Sabbath have become two very different things. What is the deeper meaning of Resurrection Sunday versus the Sabbath? Why is rest important even if it is not a command? Take a note in the Drive app here. Then discuss these questions with your spouse or a spiritual mentor today.